Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news. Now of course today is April 26th, the world reveal is actually going to be today, but there's another website, that website is Mashable.com, and they have actually had access to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and have actually played a bit of the multiplayer, and they posted an article about it, and they're going to give us a lot of information about what the multiplayer is actually going to be like. So, I'm going to take a few snippets from this, and if you guys would like to, there's going to be a link down in the video description, I think it'll be like the first link down there, and you guys can go ahead and read along this with me if you guys would like to, as well as we're going to have some cool images I'll be showing here in this video that were actually given to them by Activision. So, they went ahead and played a little bit of Black Ops 3 over at Treyarch Studio, and they said that it is a lot like Titanfall and a lot like Destiny, a sci-fi based shooter from Call of Duty publisher Activision. So let's talk about this a little bit. In Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there are specialists. The game has nine specialists total, each with two abilities, a special weapon and a move or other perk for a total of 18 choices. You pick a specialist in one of their powers before every match, much like you do kill streaks and tweak your classes in the lobby during existing COD games. Games. The specialists take many forms, like a robot whose arm can transform into a Gatling gun, or a futuristic hunter who can see through walls. Some of their powers, like the quote-unquote Seraph's powerful hand cannon and the quote-unquote Ruins fist-first smash attack are almost identical to quote-unquote Supers from Destiny. Don't take it the wrong way, many of Treyarch's folks are big Destiny fans they confessed to us during our visit, and they managed to translate one of the game's best features perfectly into the rigid Call of Duty multiplayer formula, loosening things up and making them more fun in the process. So, Ladies and gentlemen, these specialist characters that we saw in the leaked information for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 are basically going to be a lot like Destiny's superpower idea. I haven't played Destiny personally. I know that there was a big controversy with that. I was like, Nero, why don't you play Destiny? It's like, because I already have two other MMO games that I really like, and a third one is just going to consume all my time. That's the reason why I didn't play Destiny. But I know a bit about the game from watching videos and watching reviews and things like that. I know a little bit about the game and the abilities that some of them have, like the Warlock, for example. Abilities like that are going to be translated into into Call of Duty Black Ops 3's multiplayer. Now, exactly how it's going to be, they didn't exactly say everything, but they said there's going to be a Ruin character that's going to have a fist-first smash attack. There is going to be a Seraph with a powerful hand cannon. All this stuff is going to be in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer. And in fact, David Vonderhaar, who is... Uh, what is David Vonderhaar to Treyarch? I don't know. He's like the main guy, though, right? He is a big fan of Destiny. If you guys remember, follow him on Twitter or anything like that. He's been playing Destiny since it came out, and he's a giant fan of it. Later down in the article, there is a title called move over boring old gameplay and then they start talking about how their movement system is going to be a lot different so it says in the article black ops 3 has the most fluid movement system of any call of duty game yet you can run along the wall jetpack through the air switch directions mid jump and land with a lengthy power slide chaining these maneuvers together becomes a game in and of itself and you might occasionally forget to stop and shoot while you're zipping around that's actually fine too you almost never have to put your gun down you can shoot while mantling over obstacles and walls and though your aim will suffer the action won't stop if that doesn't sound like Call of Duty, it's because it doesn't feel much like it either. There's still good news for existing fans, though. You're free to keep both feet on the ground and simply lie prone the sniper rifle like you're used to. The maps are designed to let either style work, creating a wonderful feeling of flexibility not present in this series before. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be wall running, there is going to be jetpacks, there is going to be double jumping. All in the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Now, there's a little bit of article here about the campaign and how it's going to be fun because you can play it uh, with co-op, which is actually good. I think everybody's a fan of that. There's no real downside, in my own personal opinion, about having the campaign be a co-op campaign or at least have the availability for you to play it with friends, family, or whatever, right? I think it's definitely a good thing. I think everyone's kind of happy about that. But later, towards the end of the article, the title is Grasping for Air. There are layers upon layers of changes here, from many new abilities at players' disposal to the game's more lenient approach towards level design. While some additions and alterations might rub traditionalists the wrong way, it's also possible they'll all come together to make a Call of Duty game that's accessible to more people than ever. None of this is a guarantee, but the bits Treyarch and Activision did let us play half a dozen or so matches across a handful of maps and game modes felt like the breath of fresh air that Call of Duty has been needing for years. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is out Friday, November 6th for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And that's the end of the article. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it does not appear, or at least doesn't say here, that it's actually going to be available on the Xbox 360 and on the PlayStation 3. Right now, it's looking 
Like it's only going to be a next gen only game, or I guess you can call it current gen only game, as well as PC. Very interesting. The game itself is not going to be on those consoles. The game itself is going to be coming out on a Friday instead of a Tuesday, which is very different. The game itself is going to have wall running. The game itself is going to have double jumping. It's going to have a co-op campaign. It is going to have Destiny style powers. For these soldiers, these specialist soldiers, definitely not the Call of Duty game that we were expecting. Now, I'm not going to sit here and speculate. I'm not going to sit here and speculate as to why these changes were made. I'm not going to sit here and speculate as to how they were made or if this is any of this is actually real. It could po it's possible this is all some kind of April Fool's joke. Who knows? Because it's so much different and so drastically different compared to like Black Ops 2, which everyone just kind of wished it was still Black Ops 2. It's interesting. What we're going to do is I'm going to end off the video here. Of course, the reveal, the reveal, the actual worldwide reveal is going to be later on today. And hopefully that is going to answer our questions. Hopefully that's going to answer our questions. I'm not sure what time it's actually coming out. I've heard a lot of people say it's going to be 1 o'clock Eastern. And it could either be on the Call of Duty website or on YouTube. I'm not entirely positive when it's going to be. But when it happens, we'll be making videos of it. We'll be talking about it. And hopefully, it's going to answer a lot of our questions. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Let me know your opinions in the comment section below about everything we've talked about here in this video. If you did enjoy the video, though, please remember to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.